Arsenal ended their game yesterday with Tottenham Hotspur 2-2 and we're here to bring you the player ratings. And this is Rokan David, Rokan Media Football's YouTube channel to bring you the latest news and information as far as all this is really concerned. Welcome to this channel and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We are obviously going to go through them in a hurried way and obviously take to you to where we want to be as we start off our new week. Now, we thank God for the gift of life. For the Christians, the Muslims, Barakla of Fikhum, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now, it's been really a while since I've not been here, but hope you guys have been fine and doing great. Not so? Now, starting off with the player ratings, David Raya, David Raya. For my case, the first goal, I can't blame David Raya. A cross comes in at the far post. And see what he does. He just tips that ball and almost falls into his box. And that's when Spurs get the ball and bring in a cutback cross. And that cutback cross finds Song Hyun Myon. And Song Hyun Myon obviously puts that ball in the back of the net. So I think he costed Arsenal. If at all that ball came in for the first goal and really punched it hard, you know, it would have been something great, you know. But the way he tipped it and it stayed in his own box, you know, it was really naive of him. I made this Ateta, choosing him to be his first choice goalkeeper. I'm not pleased. That is it. I'm not pleased at all to see to it that things are going to be worked out like that in the nick of time. So <clears throat> I'm, big, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. That's what I'm giving David Raya. We go to Ben White. Hmm... I think even Ben White is a 6.5 out of 10 for me. Mm, I'm not going to blame him for the goals of Song Hyun Min because Song Hyun Min just was was just multidimensional. He was not in that position where Ben White was when he scored all those goals because he just tried to shift a little bit inside and exchange what we call um what we call positions with Johnson, who was leading the line for Spurs, and he came in through and obviously became a striker sometimes. That's why he found himself scoring those two goals because of his positioning and experience. So Ben White, 6.5 out of 10. We go to Zinchenko. I have to credit Zinchenko because I never saw him being sat down by, by Kulseski, and um, he had a lot to offer on the day. Zinchenko. 6.5 out of 10 also. We go to Gabriel Magales. Mm. He never had a very bad game. That is it. He put in the solid defending. But all those goals, I think you cannot defend. You cannot blame any Arsenal defender for them. That is it. So, Gabriel Magales, I'm giving him a 6.8 out of 10. We got with him Saliba solid, very much aggressive, and he obviously had lots of to say after the game. I'm giving William Saliba a 7 out of 10. We got to Declan Rice, had a very decent game in the first half and controlled that midfield a little bit, or they shared the responsibility with Yof, with Yevis Besuma. And I'm giving Declan Rice a 7 out of 10. After that, we go to Martin Odegaard. This was one of the worst games I've seen Odegaard play. That is it. And I'm giving him a 5.5 out of 10 because you know how much I love Martin Odegaard. But the moment I give him a 5.5 out of 10, you'll obviously know how much he's going to hate to be lost in that game. He was nowhere to be seen in that game. That is the touching bit of it. And uh, it really hit me hard that he couldn't influence such a game yet these are games that martin odegaard is meant for you know <clears throat> so i understand that the arsenal team the entire arsenal team never played very well but for this man he's a special talent and you anticipate that he's going to come out and obviously show up exactly what he's made about <laughs> that is the guy known as and uh, that is the guy known as odegaard 5.5 out of 10 for me Fabio Vieira, silent game also. That's why I was taken off. And um, I've gone ahead to know that uh, some players, by the way, make better influence when they come off the bench. Fabio Vieira's best games, he has been coming off the bench. That is it. And let's all agree it, that 
Fabio Vieira looks a better player when he comes off the bench and I think this is high time Ateta got to know that some players should be bench players. You get? I think if at all Fabio Vieira came off the bench in that game of Tottenham Hotspur would have been a better player. That is, and by the way, this game is really of a big and huge magnitude. And I need to know it that it's not <coughs> something that you just come out and obviously flaunt in players because it's a battle, it's a derby, and derbies are won by teams whose players are really ready to face that intimidation. So I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. We go to Bokayo Saka. To me, for what he did on the day, though not very vibrant on the day or in the evening, but being involved in two goals. You know, the one that is being given to Sergio Romero as an own goal. He's the one who goes for the shot and it deflects off Sergio Romero into the back of the net. He secondly takes a penalty to give them a lead before Song Hyun Myun finds himself making a reply in just one minute. So I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. That is Bukayo Saka. Gabriel Jesus, not very influential on the day, uh, and he takes a 6 out of 10 for me. That is it. Edin Ketia, another silent player that Ateta really kept on the field of play for so long, and he made one of the substitutions that I felt was uncalled for. How do you take off? How do you take off Gabriel Jesus and keep Edin Ketia on? And that is it. So, to my understanding, that was a mess and a huge blunder coming in from the manager of Arsenal. And I'm giving Edin Ketia a 5.5 out of 10 because I don't remember any moment Edin Ketia influencing that game. Apart from him trying to step the goal, to really step on the goalkeeper, to obviously call for himself a red card, though the referee was lenient enough to give him a yellow card. That is it. We go to the substitutions. Jorginho coming in through to obviously cost Arsenal the second goal. I'm giving him, I'm giving him a five out of ten because he really had the experience to do that. But also you remember in, in my match preview, I blamed Mikel Arteta for bringing on players on the field of play that are not regularly feeded onto coming in through to play these games. Now this is the problem that he really had to do that. <coughs> Oh, this is the problem that he brought to himself all in his table. When Thomas Partey really got injured, what he had to do was to find means of obviously getting Jorginho minutes. But Jorginho got some, first got his full some good minutes when Arsenal is playing against PSV and the game was done and he came in through and played close to 15, 16 minutes. That was really bad of Mikel Ateta because if you know that, you are having a player who is the only one available to act as a replacement or a backup for the other one, you have to keep him fit. Jorginho looked unfit for the match, and that's why he went ahead to obviously do all what he did. You'll all agree with me that Jorginho, for the time that was going to play for Arsenal, how many times have you seen him lose that ball like that? But because he has just been brought on, pressed well, not much fit, couldn't read the game well, that was the problem. So they share the problem with Mikel Ateta. That is, it's not Jorginho. I'm giving him a 5 out of 10. We go to... We go to Rest Nelson. <clears throat> he had nothing to do in that game. He was hardly gotten onto the ball. He made those runs, put in those crosses. But I think this game was beyond him. And by the way, it was Mikel Ateta. The first player to bring on the field of play would have been Emily smith -Roy. Do you know why? Emily smith has proven to us that he's a big game changer big game killer and is a big game goal scorer with his big heart i would have gone ahead to go for him but ateta found himself in a position of getting rest nelson on fast and if i were to get on rest nelson i would have i would have gone ahead to get off uh bukayo saka because he had tired out he had worn out and nothing was in his legs to offer so i'm giving rest nelson a 5.5 .5 out of 10 I go to Emily Smith Rowe. I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 because when he came on through, you saw to eat that he was really gathering a cup of partners together to obviously accomplish his mission and he was really looking good on the day. That he is a player called uh, Emily Smith Rowe. He showed you that he had a different touch altogether. You saw to eat that when he came on through as a left attack midfielder, things changed and he had to obviously hold that ball on a lot on several occasions. Who else came on? 
who else came on let me check here before i go to the ratings of the manager and see who else really had to come on lineups so arsenal brought on emily smith or georgina race nelson kai havertz came on the field of play I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10 because of his workaholicism on the night. He obviously put in a shift that took Arsenal to another level. But all, all, but all that said, 6.5 for Kai Havertz. We go to the manager, Mikel Ateta. How much do I get him on the day? I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10 because that game was in his hands to win, but he failed himself to win that game. There is no way you take off Gabriel Jesus. One, there is no way you. There is no way you obviously don't give players minutes, and then you try. You expect them to come in the London derby to obviously give you the best that they deserve. That was another red flag for him, and his substitutions. To me, I think we are really naive because if you want Edin Ketia, if you keep Edin Ketia on, it's not working. It's not working. And the way he came in through to obviously take off Fabio Vieira for Kai Havertz after 45 minutes. Yet, you never know what would have happened for Fabio Vieira if at all he stayed on. So, I'm giving him a 5 out of 10. <clears throat> now, who was my man of the match? Obviously, Bukayo Saka was my man of the match. And he obviously had lots and lots of things to do with that assist, I think. And the goal, he takes the day in the north london derby that is book Kayosaka. so guys thank you very much for watching through rock and david is my name those were my player ratings i hope you guys are going to obviously side with me even if you don't side with me no problem because every human is entitled to his own opinion not so so guys thank you first video of the day more is yet to come we're going to talk about the declan rice injury trossard injury and the crisis that is ganging up at Arsenal ever since their doctor left and joined Manchester United. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laofikum. And I'm going to be back in a giphy. Ciao, ciao.